We're back with more Game Boy, and we're back with more Kirby. Although he never really looks like it, Kirby's all business. He's not spitting anyone out this time. This time, it's personal. This time, he's gonna digest every last one of you fuckers alive. Reap the whirlwind, Waddle Dee and Waddle Doo. It's Kirby's Dreamland 2. I'm gonna be real honest with you, this is not only one of the best Kirby games in history, but it's also one of the greatest Game Boy games of all time. This is really the epitome of what a good Kirby game and a good handheld game should be. Released for Nintendo's original Puke Green Portable in 1995, Kirby's Dream Land 2 came three years after the first. And wow, how things can change in just 1,003 days. When Dreamland debuted, Kirby was a brand new character whose company wasn't even sure what color he was. Less than three years later, he's riding hamsters everywhere. Talk about climbing the corporate ladder. So there was definitely some momentum behind Kirby when Dreamland 2 was in development. So much so, in fact, that the game would be produced by none other than Nintendo guru Shigeru Miyamoto himself, as well as a rising star within the ranks of HAL Laboratory named Satoru Iwata. Same guy who would become the head of the biggest gaming company in the world just a few years later. And if his work on Kirby didn't have something to do with that, well then the criteria were bullshit. So Dreamland 2 had some pretty sharp minds working on it, and really, the results speak for themselves. This game improved on everything about its predecessor. No, really, everything. The graphics are better, the gameplay is better, the design is better, and you can ride hamsters. Now, like the original, Kirby's Dreamland 2 is a 2D platform game. And to be honest, it's a lot like the original. But what made Dreamland 2 a better game are the improvements it made. Now, for starters, it included a gameplay mechanic that was introduced in Kirby's Adventure, which allowed Kirby to copy the abilities of the enemies that he swallowed. I mean, he's, he's using their own weapons against them. Kirby is so badass! <laughs> That adds a huge layer of gameplay depth to Dreamland 2, and to this day, that's the thing most people associate with Kirby titles. But the game doesn't stop there. You can also ride hamsters! I mean, if you aren't on eBay right now looking for a copy of this game, you just, you must hate freedom. So it's like Kirby Kong Country in a sense. A descriptor that illustrates the unoriginality of the concept, but also how much fun it is. It just works for Kirby. Same way riding on rhinos worked for Donkey Kong, and transforming into vehicles worked for Yoshi. It adds more gameplay depth, and it breaks up the run and jump platforming with a little variety. Is it the most original idea in the world? No, far from it, but again, you're riding a fucking hamster! Now this is just a prime example of good, smart sequel development. It keeps all the things that made the first game great, and it tweaks what didn't. Having save slots, for example, is a really nice touch, and from a gameplay perspective, the copyability and all the added gameplay diversity really improve what was already a tremendous experience. It's Kirby's Dreamland 2, a Game Boy classic and a Kirby landmark. <laughs>